is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another tier list video today we are taking a look at the phenomenal AJ Styles we've done the Hardy Boys we've done Seth Rollins we've done John Cena we've even done Rey Mysterio but today you guys voted on it the Hardy Boys won the vote but AJ Styles was second place on that vote and down in the comment section below we're gonna vote today on the next video we're gonna do for this series so if you guys want to see Undertaker Kane or Finn Balor let me know down below Hello. Those three guys, Undertaker, Kane, or Finn Balor, we're going to vote on it, and then that will be the next ranking video that we do. But today, we're taking a look at AJ Styles. Very excited to get into it. Um, you know, AJ Styles figures are kind of crazy. You know, I have a big problem with them since the beginning, and that is the torso mode, but we're not going to get into that today. I'm going to put all that ish aside, and I'm going to dive into these figures and give you my own personal thoughts and opinions on all these. Rank them from worst to best, or best to worst, whatever you want to say. And we got the tiers over here, right? We got the go buy it tier, which is, if I say go buy it, you want to look that hoe up on eBay. You want to go purchase it right then and there. Some of these may be more expensive than others. I know some of them are super cheap, I think, but I think that's like every other ranking video. They do the same thing with that. The next tier, of course, is Good Figure. That's the little highlight here in blue. That's just under Good Buy. You know, it's it's a good figure. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. It's a solid football figure right there, but it's not quite like you want to go buy this right freaking now. So that's the Good Figure section right there. Next, we have Meh, and that's just like, you know, it's meh. It's, it's okay. It's not, you know, no, it's not the worst. It's not the best. It's just, yeah, yeah, okay. Then you have Barely Acceptable, which is just one step from garbage. That's where it's like, Brad, you were literally this close to being put in the garbage can. Only one thing or a couple things that kept it from going in the garbage can. That is our Barely Acceptable tier. And then, of course, you have Garbage, which means if you're here... You're pretty shitty, Brad. You are garbage. So with that being said, guys, I guess we have no other business but to go ahead and dive into our AJ Styles Elite Figure Ranking. And I guess we are going to start off with the Top Talents 2019 figure. Now, this one is pretty good. I like the head sculpt. It is a head sculpt that we've seen before. It is a black and green attire, which I'm not the biggest fan of. And it is a re-release head sculpt, a head sculpt that we had seen before. But I think it was relatively new when it came out. Like, that head sculpt was relatively new. It's, it's, I think it's either the best or it's the second best AJ Styles head sculpt we've ever gotten. For now, I'm going to put it in meh. But it could go, go up to good figure. We're just going to kind of see. I just want to, you know, feel it out a little bit. Get a little feeling out process here. We're going to start out at meh. And we could go up. We could go down. Let's find out. Let's move on to our next figure. But this figure, you know, it, 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 yeah. Moving back a year. Going down to the Top Towns 2018 figure. Now, this is his WrestleMania 34 gear, I'm pretty sure, where he took on Shinsuke Nakamura in their matchup that was subpar at best. But I'm going to put this in good figure because I really like the attire. I like the gray of it. I like the black and blue. I like the silver on the P1. I think it was actually a really good figure. Especially at time it released, you know, it's it's a head sculpt that we've seen multiple times on multiple AJ Styles figures, which you guys will see in this video. But I really do like, I don't know what it is. It's like the gray with the blue and the black and the silver all mixing together. It's actually why I decided to make my sold out custom if you guys remember that figure with the white and the same colorway except flipped around a little bit it is the inspiration behind that custom so without this figure without that attire that he wore i wouldn't even have that but that figure is pretty solid right there i'm gonna put good figure for now next up guys is the elite 56 aj styles no wait this is the two this is the two pack this is the elite two pack with finn balor and this one is better than the elite 56 and it's better than the Survivor Series figure. I'm going to put it in Go Buy It because it is pretty much the ultimate version of the Elite 56 and the Survivor Series figure. It's got the better hands. It comes with knee pads. It's got the better head sculpt on it. Comes with two sweet hands and you get a Finn Balor with it. I'm going to put Go Buy It for now. And you may be able to buy it on its own on eBay. So if you guys want to check that out, you can do so. But I'm going to put it in Go Buy It for now. Could change it up. We'll see. Next up, guys, is the Survivor Series Elite. Now, this one's interesting to me. This one's very interesting to me because it's pretty much a re-release of the Elite 56. Some colors inverted here and there. I think the kick pads are different, and that is pretty much it. It's also a true effects version of the Elite 56. You get the blue hoodie. I think I want to put it in Barely Acceptable, and the only reason I'm doing that is because it is pretty much a straight-up copy release. It doesn't have knee pads. It has the same exact head sculpt. It's just, I do not, by the way, I do not like the head sculpt. I think the cartoony version on the Elite 56 is better than the than the, the True Effects version that we got later on with that same head sculpt. I thought the cartoony version that we used to get with all our figures, the cartoony head sculpts, are better than some of the True Effects versions, which is kind of crazy. Next up, guys, we have the Network spotlight AJ Styles. Now, this one right here to me is a go buy it, and I'll tell you why right now. 
it's probably the best attire that he's worn to the ring, or it's one of them. It's the it's a white attire, you know, that we've never seen again from an AJ Styles Elite. I think he's worn, you know, he's worn his white and black from Elimination Chamber. We got that in a basic. This one was a Toys R Us Network exclusive, Network exclusive, Network Spotlight exclusive, and it is a great figure. It has the Elite 47 head sculpt on it, but that was, you know, at the time that was accurate. You can actually put any other AJ Styles head sculpt on this figure, so that makes it even better because, you know, if you want to update it or use it in your feds or whatever, you don't want that old AF head sculpt that has, like, giraffe neck syndrome, you can put another figure. You know, I'm putting that at the top. It's it's better than the two-pack, I think. Even though it doesn't have interchangeable hands, I love that figure. I'm going to put it up there. Moving up, guys, we have the Elite 77. Now, this one's kind of controversial because this is the newest one. This is the newest one. It doesn't have chest hair on it. It's another black attire AJ Styles, which you guys will find in this video is a pretty much reoccurring theme in this video because it it's like every AJ Styles has to be black with some other color when we want to have the bright attires you know we want the full blue we want the full green like we got with the Elite 74 we want the ones that are bright and colorful and we have still to this day not gotten a red AJ Styles Elite which blows my dega mind I cannot believe that we still don't have one but this was a perfect opportunity to give it to us I know it's supposed to be SummerSlam themed but uh, they could have just held off on it I don't know if we could have gotten you know, just a different attire. Maybe the SummerSlam attire versus Joe would have been better here with the black and purple. Give us purple, which is a little bit different. I don't know. I really wish this would have been a red elite. We still don't have a red elite. And for me, I'm going to put this in meh. I like the head sculpt. I like the red accents to this figure, but it's just another black attire where it's just meh. I almost want to put it in barely acceptable, to be honest with you, but I'm going to leave it in meh for now. We could come back to it. We'll see what's going on with it. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 74. Now, this is a go buy it for me. I really like this figure. Um, I'm not going to put it above. I'm not. It's definitely not number one, but I do like it. I really love the saturation of the green. I think it's definitely better than his top talents figure. I like the, uh, just the brightness and saturation of it looks super good. It's not something that he wears all the time. <sighs> I th I'm going to put it below the two-pack. I really like the two-pack figure because the two-pack is an ultimate, you know, blue version of AJ Styles, which is what we come to see with AJ Styles. So I'm going to leave it right there below the two-pack, I think. Next up, guys, is the Elite Top Talents 2019 figure. And this one is pretty solid. I like it as a good figure. I think it's a little bit bad. It okay. This is where the this is where the standby comes by. It's pretty much a different version of the Top Talents 2018 figure. Did I call this a Top Talents figure or did I call it Elite 66? It's the Elite 66. If I called it the Top Talents figure, I'm a jackass. God, this one's difficult, bro. Better head sculpt than Top Talents. Slightly worse attire and flipped around version of the attire. I'm gonna put it in good figure. I'm gonna put it behind. It does have interchangeable hands though. I'm putting it there. I'm standing on it. You know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm planting my flag right there behind the Top Talents figure. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 61. Now, this one right here is kind of bleh to me when this first released. I remember... Like, I, I like that it's the USA gear. I like that, you know, it has the offsetting. It's kind of like the black version of the Network Spotlight, but the head sculpt's worse. I like the American flag, pretty much, pattern going on on the P1 on the side. It doesn't have knee pads. It was just one of those releases that was meh to me. It's almost barely acceptable. I honestly am not a big fan of it. I don't know, man. I really, I, I don't know. No, I'm going barely acceptable. I'm going barely acceptable. The deco on the pants is the only thing keeping this thing out of the garbage for me. And I don't know what it is. I, it's just one of those figures that I look at. The colors don't stand out. The head sculpt's like bleh. And I just, I, I, I don't know what it is. You could easily switch it out, but going off general release right there, at the time too, it was just like one of those releases that just does not stand out to m my memory. And I was just like, pfft. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 56. Now, you're probably going to be surprised by my ranking here, but I'm going good figure. Now, the reason I'm going good figure is because at the time, it was the first blue AJ Styles. It was the best head sculpt. It doesn't come with knee pads, but I remember when I first reviewed that thing. That was back when I didn't even get the figures straight up when, you know, like, I didn't get them from ringside. I wasn't getting them to review for you guys, and I ha I pre-ordered that for BEW, got it shipped to me, and then I did a review on it, and I remember loving the figure upon review. I remember putting it in my top figures of the year that year, and I think it's a good figure still to this day. And yeah, you, of course you can go buy the this one. Th so that's why it's not in Go Buy is because you have better versions of this figure out there and so that would be stupid to tell you to go buy it. So I'm going to put it in the good figure because it still is and I am going to rank it below these because it's a re-release. But I remember I can't deduct football points knowing that I did review this figure, know it was good, liked it, and said, you know, good figure. Next up guys is the Elite 51 and to be honest with you, a lot of people are probably going to be like, what the hell are you doing Brad? But I like this figure figure and I'll tell you why 
Obviously, now looking back at it, it's like, why the hell would you like that figure? How is that a good figure? But to me, at the time, it was the second release, AJ Styles. It kind of has like a nostalgia factor. I love the black and silver of it for a release. I, for some reason, loved the hoodie on this thing. I, I like the old school hoodie that came with the Elite 40, not the Elite 47. The vest that came with this figure is just super solid. You can do some cool fix-ups with it. I, I'm not a big fan of the of the screaming head sculpt, but bro, the freaking, the, I don't know what it is. I like the black and silver. And I know we've gotten a ton of black attires after that, but at the time of release, I really enjoyed it. I remember going out of town on a toy hunt and finding Elite 51 and being like, oh. Oh shit, Brad. Look what I just found. I'm the king. Not a king. Am I? Probably not. But I actually did a toy hunt on that video, and you guys can go back and watch that. It's probably a really cringy toy hunt, but I remember loving this figure when I found it at retail, and I'm putting it a good figure. And for our final ranking, we have the Elite 47. The, the one that started it all. I remember when this figure first released. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when this figure first released, everyone was losing their damn mind. It's his debut figure. I remember when he came out at the Royal Rumble that year. Everybody was losing their shit. I was losing their shit. This figure was shown off. People were losing their shit. At the time, it was a great head sculpt. It's still a solid head sculpt. It, it looks like AJ Styles, especially when he had the soccer mom really short haircut. You know, the freaking go get the manager haircut. And this figure sold out on Amazon and ringside like so many times in a row, man. Like, everyone wanted this figure so effing bad. I turned on notifications for this figure when it came in stock on Amazon because I was sick of not getting it on release. You know, it kept selling out and selling out and selling out. So I remember turning on my notifications for my email when it came in stock on Amazon and to this day, the notification is still on on my email. So anytime this figure comes in stock on Amazon, I'm notified of it. So I think that was a pretty funny story about it. And it's a go buy it. It's a go buy it figure. And again, it's the first AJ Styles. It's a damn good AJ Styles. It's his debut figure. It's the first thing he wore to the ring in WWE and it's just it's a good figure too and I just remember the hype surrounding that figure was nuts and you can still do cool fix ups with it if you want but that is our ranking of every AJ Styles elite figure he only has 12 figures I think I don't think I left any off I do my research hardcore for these videos getting ready and I, I freak I go through the woodwork man I make sure that I don't leave any out but I guess it is possible I don't think I did you know nothing's coming to my mind right now I looked at my AJ Styles shelf I googled it I looked through the list this is my complete ranking if I were going to switch any around I might could put the Elite 61 in the garbage or the Survivor Series in the garbage or the Elite 77 on Barely Acceptable but I'm not going to do that I think this is a solid little ranking here and I enjoy ranking these figures man I love doing these videos again let me know down below guys do you want to see Finn Balor Undertaker or Kane Kane and Undertaker have an ass ton of figures it's kind of ridiculous how many elites they have so I know they would be a ton of fun to rank their figures for but that is going to do it for our AJ Styles Elite Figure Ranking guys thank you so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.